It's Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, so you know what that means. It's time for another episode of Hashtag Event Icons, presented by Endless Events. The show where you get to ask the icons of the events industry anything. So, you might be wondering, how do you get to ask questions? All you have to do is use the question panel on the right of GoToWebinar to submit your questions. Or, you can hop on Twitter to submit your questions with the hashtag Event Icons. We'll be answering your questions live during the entire show. Before we get started, the more people we have watching, the better conversation we can have. So please help share hashtag event icons on Twitter and Facebook. Just tell your friends to watch at www.event-icons.com. Now, without any further delay, this is hashtag event icons with your hosts, Will Curran of Endless Events, Laura Lopez of Social Tables, and Brant Kruger of Event Technology Consulting. All right, everybody. Welcome to Event Icons. I am Brant Kruger. Will is in one of these boxes around me, and we are being joined. Today is going to be an event technology episode, so I'm really excited about it. I always like to geek out on the technology side, so whenever we get a chance uh, to, to talk to folks that are dealing with event technology, that's when I get to really get charged up and get excited. So we are being joined today by Brad Langley and hopefully Mike Tenholder from eTouches. Uh, unfortunately, Mike's having some issues with connections, so that's why we started a little bit late today. Uh, we're gonna, he's going to try and move to another office and see if we can bring him in. But in the meantime, we do have Brad Langley. Hi, Brad. Thanks for joining us today. Good afternoon, everyone. Glad to be here. And fun fact about Brad is Brad and I went to the same college, so go ASU Sun Devils. Oh, yeah. Sun Devils, <laughs> Tempe, Arizona. That's where it's Although at. I have a feeling mine was a little bit before yours that I went there, just a touch. <laughs> like maybe one or say, two years. Who went to whose school there now? Let's just <laughs> yeah, they only had one devil at the time. It was Sun Devil. <laughs> just, just a singular, singular devil. Yeah, singular we've had it a few since then. <laughs> Well, Brad, thanks a lot for joining us. We really appreciate it. Sure thing. And all right, before we get into the goods on eTouches, uh, which is a, a, an exciting technology, if you haven't checked it out, it's going to be totally worth it. Um, so before we get into that, though, we always like to do kind of the personal questions, kind of the personal side, get to know you, Brad, a little bit better. Uh, so what got you into the events industry? These are kind of the stock questions. What, what got you into this crazy industry? Oh. <laughs> It, that's an easy one to answer. A guy by the name of Ed Scannell, who um, he was attending an event. He actually was helping manage the event. And I was helping him, and he came up to me, and as one of the keynote speakers walked off the stage, Ed was handling all his tickets for his entire future speaking engagements. And he must have had 10 airline tickets in his hand. And at the time, I was in college, and I said, oh, my goodness, this person, you know, what college student doesn't love to travel? So I said, I've got to check this industry out. And um, ironically, I ended up working for Eastern Airlines, then United Airlines in this industry before um, changing sides of the fence, if you will, to the uh, planner side for about 28 years. Oh, my gosh. So wait, so wait then you, you went from working at the airline to becoming a planner? Yes, yes. I um, actually was hired by Merritt's out of St. Louis um, and worked there for about six years in a variety of management capacities and, and then uh, became president of another meeting planning company called Creative Group and then uh, uh, another one. And just, I would say a couple of years ago, I made the move or transition into the technology space. So. I mean, I love like this session because I know I'm with my peeps. I'm talking to planners, <laughs> and I'm, you know, I, you know, I said there's got to be a better way in this industry to help planners. I've seen people, you know, struggle, and and that's why I love our technology at eTouches. I'm like, hey, this this helps you. This this lessens your pain. So that that's why you know making the the transition or the bridge into technology has been been really fun for me. That's awesome. And then so you decided to take kind of what you learned from the planner side and move it into um, working at eTouches to kind of implement your knowledge and everything like that. And now you're focusing on working with other event planners, partner companies that to implement eTouches into their, their, their companies and their workflows, right? Exactly. You know, like I'm, I'm probably like a lot of people. You go to school for 
a particular degree. In fact, I went to graduate school for a particular degree. I don't think I use any of that knowledge. The only <laughs> knowledge, my degree, if anything, is just in street planning, you know, and, and, and growing up as a planner, if you will, through the industry and through over the years. And, what and was I remember my, um, well, my, my undergrad was in marketing, my graduate degree and MBA was from finance. And then, then I remember my mom after, you know, I was working in this industry for a number of years said, I still don't understand what you do, son. Is it legal? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's just, I'm like, mom, I help, I help bring people together. She said, oh, you're a dating site. I said, no, no, <laughs> no. Corporate. We're corporate meeting planners, so, you know, it, it's, it's been good. And the company that I used to work for was called Metro Connections, and everybody thought that was a dating company. <laughs> so it's a very interesting kind, right? I feel, so I feel, yeah. your, I feel your pain on that. Um, so, oh, yeah. but, so oh, well, you wait, had that. Wait, wait, wait. It's better than Endless Entertainment, which we just ran from Endless Entertainment to Endless Events, and people thought we were a stripper company. Ah, <laughs> so at, least it, you're just, uh, at least at uh, least okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's an upgrade. <laughs> so you got this degree, and uh, at some point, life changed along the way because you got you got involved. So what what would what do you think you would have done if you wouldn't have gotten involved in the event industry? What where would you, what would you be doing right now? You know, it's that's a it's a great question because I I often think about that because I was um, fortunate enough. To, to get uh, three congressional appointments to different academies, the Air Force, Navy, and Army academies. Uh -huh. So there's hardly a day that goes by that I don't think, wow, that, that crossroads in my life, if I had gone right instead of going left, how different would my life be? So um, for me, I, I have the utmost respect for the military. Um, but I'm, I'm also, I love the, I love the role I play in the, the career I've chosen, and it's it's just fun. I you know I love people, getting to meet people, and and now help them um, with technology. I love it. I love it. Well, speaking of technology, you know we we have a bunch of people watching this right now. They may have heard of E Touches. They may not have. I'm a huge fan. But can you explain to everyone a little bit in detail what exactly is E Touches? What are all the tools involved? Because there's a lot that goes into it. What what exactly is it? Who is it for? You know, tell us a little bit about it. That's great. Well, and, and I'll try not to make this commercial because you're right. A lot of people don't know what eTouches is all about. And, and in a nutshell, I like to refer to it as your Swiss Army knife of event technology because it's all end-to-end -end what you need to do to help plan your pre-event, uh, all your pre-event activities, your during event activities and your post event activities. So we have 16 different modules that cover everything from venue sourcing, which is really the, the start of your, of your planning, all the way through uh, registration, email marketing, customized branded email marketing, to website development, to surveys, to a lot of planning tools to help planners pull it all together and pull it off. I mean, Planners every day pull miracles off. We all know that. You know, they're, they're, they're throwing curveballs at the last minute, and, and a good technology solution should help them manage that. And that's, what, that's why I'm, I'm really proud to be part of eTouch's team. Even though we continue to develop and innovate with the product, we really strive, and I think we were, part of it is because the, the software was designed by planners for planners. So it wasn't like a bunch of techies got in the room and said, hey, this would be kind of cool. Let's do this. It was literally, it was, it was created out of necessity. And then since then, we've, we've continued to expand, add on, and make it even more functional for planners. So if, if, is there anything that, I mean, with such a big breadth of tools that it does, is there anything the software doesn't do that you would say to someone, if you're looking for this, no, go the other way? Um, the only thing I could say it doesn't do is, uh, I mean, we partner with companies that could do live webcasts, but it does everything else outside of the AV component, if you will. 
I mean, it, it truly helps you market, manage, and then measure your events. So awesome. we're, we're the 3M of, of technology, market, <laughs> manage, and measure. And I'm going to tell our marketing people that's our new slogan, 3M of technology. Awesome. <laughs> hey, you yeah. heard it here first. You heard it on event icons. You can right here. 3M of event tech. Royalties are coming. <laughs> I yeah, love yeah. it. <laughs> uh, well, so like knowing you guys have been around for a while, I mean this isn't like a tool that just came out last year. You know, you guys have been around for the Brown Block. You guys have done this. You have some serious traction right. with this. How, what sort of impact? Yeah, 2008. Um, what has um, what has been your, you think the biggest impact eTouches has had on the events industry? Wow, it's that's a great question because there are a lot of a uh, lot of great individual applications in the event industry. There's hardly a day that goes by that someone doesn't create a new app or something to help planners and help help the end user client. Uh, what what where we've come to play and where we're seeing I think a lot of traction is like any technology there are there's a turning point and I think 2017 is a huge transformational year in fact I go so far as to say this is a transformational decade for technology and events because what's happening is consolidation of event uh, technology providers and the reason consolidation is happening is because planners want one solution that they can go to and do everything so they don't have to worry about training their people across five different individual applications. They don't have to worry about uploading and downloading data between all of them. They don't have to worry about breaks in the bridges or anything. So they want, they want the one solution and that's what eTouches does. So it, it truly, our, in one sense it makes life easier for the planners. In another sense, it, it is your go-to tool. Because, and that's, that's where it's making huge inroads. Planners come to us and they say, love your solution. It has changed and rocked my world as far as how I do business. Well, the, the nice thing is that, that there, there's a market for everyone now. I mean, uh, what's one of the things that I'm seeing is that you've got these Swiss Army Knife type companies. You've got some of the consolidation to make people's lives easier when they need it to be. But there's always those, there are those certain types of planners that love piecing and parting everything out, you know, whether it's, you know, every single aspect of their event, um, all the way down to their technology where they're like, okay, I want this from this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. And there's enough room in the industry for that. Yeah, there, there still is. In fact, there are, there are companies that we partner with from a technology standpoint because of exactly that. We want to make sure that our users have access to the the finest end-to-end -end suite, and then for those kind of more specialty applications, instead of us spending lots of time and resource to develop it, we do an integration with them so it's, it's super smooth and works. I mean, you, you take a look at just in the marketing area, there are a couple of companies that come to mind like Marketo and Eloqua. We've got seamless native integrations with them that wow. really help our clients produce some powerful marketing campaigns and I'm talking huge clients so it's to your point um, you're at the same time there's consolidation there are there are some specialists that it, it's you know they're they're constantly evolving which is truly why I enjoy this I mean my my 12 year old daughter laughs at me and says, dad, I can't believe you're in technology. You of all people, you know, I mean, I've got my iPhone, but <laughs> and I'm like, pretty I'm like, backhanded. Hey. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm like, thanks, honey. Love you too. But, uh, it's, it's frankly because, uh, I think that's the space to be in, in today's world. Uh, you know, everything's, everything's heading that way and event planners, I mean, I still talk to event planners to do things manually, and I, I practically plead with them. I say, even if you don't go with our solution, go with some technology. You're killing yourself. You're working twice as hard, and um, please don't, don't knock yourself out. There, there's light. There's easier ways. You mean there's something beyond Excel? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. Airtable. Oh, right? Yeah. Oh, there's, there's, uh, there, you'd be amazed at how many are still doing it that way in, in Excel and, um, and they feel, they feel that that's the most advanced way to accomplish it. And Interesting. I mean, I just feel there's there's easier way if you use technology in the right vein, it'll it'll help them. Awesome. Um, so talking about like uh, you know using technology and growing, um, we'll talk a lot about the growth of eTouches in a little bit. But you guys just acquired another event tech company, correct? Correct. Correct. A company um, called Looped. Yep, yep, and uh, we're huge fans of Looped, uh, and so uh, we had Brian on the show 20-so episodes ago, I think, um, and just awesome because it, for those who don't know what Looped is, it's this location-based, using beacons, allows you to grab more data, know where people are spending more time at your events, really, really awesome, so it's great to see that it's integrating into this larger platform. What, what do you hope that Looped will do for eTouches moving forward? Well, first, isn't Brian a pretty incredible guy? Yeah, I absolutely. mean. Oh my goodness, you know, the guy is so young and but yet has so much experience and knowledge that he's brought to bear to to our company already, which is so cool. But so looped, looped is really, you know, any any anyone on the the webcast here from uh Star Trek because what loop does is the final frontier. I mean, <laughs> we are talking we're talking engagement. We're talking passive and active measurement of engagement in real time so you could do something about it. So when I was a planner, you know, we'd, we'd, do our, we'd run hundreds of events. We'd always survey and measure them afterwards. And we'd be sitting down with the client 30 days later saying, hey, you know, this one, this one session, you know, out of 20 sessions, 19 got great scores. This one bombed. Why did it bomb? And too bad we couldn't do something about it then. With, with technology like Looped, not only can you get real-time information around session quality, session attendance, all of that, but you can actually get real-time behavioral analytics so you could see, so for instance, if I, if I have a trade show and I'm exhibiting, we all do that, you know, and through Looped, someone, you know, if, they, if the participants have the wearable technology, I can go tell my sponsor, hey, this person walked by your booth five times a day and you were so busy, they never were able to see you. But before tomorrow, you know, they're still at the show. I suggest you stop and check in with them um, or or locate them because they're clearly interested in your product. And just so everyone's clear exactly how that how that's working. So rather than it being uh, kind of a phone based Bluetooth tracking, you know, low, you know, beacon type technology, the people are wearing the little beacons, and then you place kind of the sensors around the space, and that's how they're exactly. tracking people moving through the space. And uh, let me tell you, if you you want to give yourself, if you're into technology, you want to give yourself a little treat. Go check out their website and look at the visualizations that they've put oh, wow. together. With this technology, because it's it blew my mind the first time I saw it. When you're seeing people moving through space in real time, and then they kind of speed it up, and you can see everybody going from this area to this area and this area to this area, the amount of data and information that that can provide to people is incredible. So yeah, I mean it's a great technology, and congrats to each judges for the acquisition because, um, yeah, I've I've been very impressed with what I've seen from them. Well, and the the thing when I say it's the last frontier, is in, in technology in general, but especially in the event space, there's so much big data. And part of the problem of all this big data is squeezing out what's useful to the planners. It's like, what drips out of the bottom there? And what really drips out in this is, is we, can, we can get powerful data with the click of a button. And like you said, it, we can map it, we can show it, we can... It, so it's usable, it's actionable, yeah. which yeah. Is, is, is the coolest part because otherwise you're sitting there going, okay, I just dumped all this into an Excel spreadsheet that's a thousand cells long. What the heck am I supposed to make sense of this? What am I supposed to do with this? So it's, that's, that's really where, where, why I say event technology is heading that way. It's, it should be easier. 
in, in Looped is an example of a product that makes it a lot easier. You think that kind of innovation and forward Absolutely. thinking is going to make its way into some of the other sides of eTouch? So as you see this new technology and this new product, and it's a, you're able to grasp onto those, you know, that kind of ROI and stuff, is that kind of filtering its way into the other parts of eTouches? Oh, absolutely. We've got an amazing development team, truly amazing. So, for instance, they've already started the process of integrating Loop. And by integrating the process and integrating those, those, the, the modules and the functionality, they've already been able to take our mobile app, which already was very robust. It, it, it could manage like 20 different functions we have the opportunity with the loop technology to ramp that up to over 40 different functions just in a mobile app, wow. which is, that's also where, I mean, our mobile app was already killer. Now it's like double killer. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's so powerful. I'm like, whoa, this is all in my hand. And, and look what I could do. So, I mean, that's, that's where it's really cool is, is you know, you, you, it's like lighting two matches. And bringing it together and the heat just explodes. So that's yeah, we've got we've got some major brainiacs in our our product development side that I can't even begin to to have a lengthy conversation with them because they're just innovating. I mean, it's really cool to spend time with them. I was going to say, so, I mean, you've talked about, like, your, your product development team a little bit. Uh, obviously, you know, with integrating new companies, you're obviously going to have to add a lot more people. You guys are growing, like, absolutely wildfire right now, right? I, I heard some from, someone told me you guys are hoping to hire 100-plus people this year. Is that right? Yes, yes, and oh we're, we're well on the way. Since the beginning of the year, I believe we've added at least 30 or 40 already. Wow. Um, and, yeah, it's – it's refreshing because unfortunately, you know, some other tech companies in, in the space have, have been, have had to let people go. And I think that's, that's part of that effort around, um, you know, the transformation that technology companies are going through right now. They're, they're truly, and, and they're going to be winners that are going to be losers from that just in, so I think I'd look at it from the standpoint of, of uh, we're fortunate, and we're fortunate because we listen to the customer and we try and support the customer. And so the reason we're growing is to make sure and be able to provide the support from not just sales but from customer support to training to service that our customers have, have um, come to come to expect from us. So, you know, you know, the, the story, we all see it. You know, you've got, you've got all these, these companies that start up, they hit that growth curve and then they don't ramp up accordingly. And then they, they level out or, or crash. And I think, you know, hats off to our, our leadership group because they're recognizing that uh, we're on the right path. Our product's not perfect and we continue to evolve it. And as a result, one of the best ways is to continue to support our customers. That'll keep our growth strong. So yeah, we're we're adding people globally across all functions, and and that's a, a sign that that truly we intend to keep this up. Well, I, I want to kind of talk a little bit more about the, kind of the future of you know for e touches. But bef before we do that, before we get too far away from the loop discussion. Um, one of the things that I like about that product is it, it, it is an instant visual of ROI. So you're able to like, you're able to see, okay, hardly anybody stopped by the vodka luge, but everybody stopped by the golf simulator and nobody stopped by, you know, this, that, and the other. It's, it's an instant visualization of what was successful at your event, what didn't work so well at your event, where people got clogged up, you know, maybe we should have had another bar instead of here, this instead of that. How, you know, how are the other sections of eTouches kind of also reaching out? Everybody's talking about ROI these days, right? So, so what's nice about Loop is it's a very instant visual thing. But I imagine that a lot of the other kind of sections of the Swiss Army knife are starting to hit ROI as well. They're, they're, I think you've touched on two important things. Number one, that they're all, we're all looking at ROI 
throughout the entire event life cycle. So even in venue sourcing, perfect example, our venue sourcing product captures um, all the all the uh, concession savings throughout the entire venue sourcing cycle. So you may you may be negotiating with 20 hotels, and you may uh, you're going to have probably three or four back and forths with all 20 hotels. You have to manage that activity. You have to capture concession values to demonstrate your value to your end client. With ours, with our solution, with one click you can show how the bids have evolved by hotel. So that in its own little segment is, is ROI around venue sourcing. You're showing how you're, you're creating and demonstrating value for the planner to the ultimate end client. Then in the, in the main registration product, we're injecting more, more reports that that when I and some people get intimidated whenever you say reports, it's really that's the beauty of e touches is the reports are simple to get to, they're simple to understand, and they're simple to put to use. Um, and and that's that's huge because otherwise you can you can quickly overwhelm people with technology. And I remember um, Mike Mason used to always tell me he was the founder of Zentilla, and he said Brad. It's easy to design difficult software. It's <laughs> difficult to design easy software that's mm -hmm. easy for the consumer. And there are a lot of examples of that out in the marketplace. Like, you know, Apple, they design, you know, before, before some of their, their products came online, and, you know, when I first got my Apple phone, I was like, oh, wow, how come nobody else thought of that? That's so intuitive. It's just... I hit that and it's there. And that's that's the way event technology should be. So there's there that is that is a key component how it how it really spreads. And and the other advantage is when you have an end-to-end -end platform, those innovations come naturally. Because you don't have to you don't have to force it, you don't have to fight it. Um, because you see the full the full picture. And you see how the data flows, and you see how how our users use the different functions, and and that's when innovation happens, which is which is the coolest thing. Wow, I mean, I, I absolutely love your philosophy for what you guys are doing for sure. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I I'm curious to know, and I was uh, we we're getting a little bit. Everyone's kind of curious to hear about Loop, to hear about these awesome new technologies. They want to know you're adding a hundred more people this year. You said they're going across all boards, so obviously scaling up. But what what sort of things can we expect from eTouches in the future? Like, what sort of things do you think? I mean, obviously we can't reveal a total project product. Roadmap, but what sort of issues do you think that eTouches is looking to solve in the future? I think um, event engagement is is huge, and when you look at event engagement, it it's not just starting with Loot. It has to start all the way back through the entire life cycle of the technology. So it starts at the point in time that you're creating the marketing campaign that draws attendees in, that gets them excited about the event, that gets their opinion or input about that shapes the event. So it's, you know, everything now, if, if, if you were to ask one of the key trends, one of the key trends is definitely experiential events. And the more experiential the event experience, I believe, the better the outcome. I, I just totally believe that so that the way to do that is to start from the beginning and carry through certain themes messages that align with your goals and how that would makes, you define what experiential events is would you say in like what's your definition because obviously it's like a big huge category what would you say would be yeah, your definition of an experiential event great to me and it is a huge category but to me is connecting your brand with your consumer directly hand you know face to face hands on um, bringing your brand to life so holding an event and and I may not have the right definition but that's my definition for today uh, but <laughs> it's 
it's bringing your brand to life in the mind of your of your consumer, your target audience. So it's holding an event where really you're encompassed by the sense of and feeling of that brand, and you you literally get to experience or or be deeply exposed to that brand's attributes, which could could include the culture of the company that produces the brand. It could include um, sensory things around the brand, but it's it's truly engaging your your audience, like injecting them into the brand in a unique way. And, and there are some amazing companies out there right now that are really good at this. That are that are truly um, taking events to the next level. And so, back to your original original question, if you will, of of what's you know where are we going with that? I believe that true engagement um, starts in it and takes specific paths throughout the entire event life cycle. So, so what what you can do and what our technology enables you to do is create an entire journey for the participant that's unique to their needs. So, for instance, if I, if I if I hold an event, say it's even an alumni event for ASU, you know, and and I can tailor. Yeah, there I had to throw them in. I could tailor. I could tailor the communication to you based on what your major was at the school. I can tailor your your the questions of of what sort of experience would you like um, when you come to the to this event, and then carry that through with the registration process where you actually see something that's totally tailored to your interests, needs, and desires. When you're on site, I can form through the technology, help you find and form communities of same interest so that you are now making connections that otherwise you wouldn't have known. You might have passed someone in the hall at an event that had the exact same interest that you did, uh, but now through the technology you'll be able to see and make that connection that whoa you know Brant and I I didn't realize we love guitars and so as a result of that the technology marries us and enhances the experience for both of us that continues long after the event so those are just a couple of examples where our technology helps uh, the the real end-to-end -end attendee experience and from a from an event sponsor or host now I'm jazzed my ROI and, and frankly whether it's ROI ROO or ROE you know depending on who who you're talking to they'll interchange any three of those names um, but through the technology we're helping the, the sponsoring organization really enhance the results of, of what they want to get out of it, out of the event. So, I mean, that, that you, you touched on one of them there with engagement. So I'm curious because you guys are so kind of steeped in event technology and the trends that are surrounding it, you know, what are some of the other trends that you guys are seeing kind of coming down the way here? So we've got engagement, okay. uh, obviously continuing on with, you know, an emphasis on ROI. What else is coming down the way? You know, there's, uh, I think you know engagement is huge. Other trends, you know, there there are a lot of this year. I said is well, this decade is a transformational decade, and let's just look at at four key areas that are transforming the events industry. You've got uh, consolidation of uh, event technology providers, which is creating more rapid innovation. You've got Hotel consolidation, which is also um, you know driving up costs potentially. You've got uh, major uh, political and economic changes going on around the world, from Brexit to you know changes here in, in the political leadership uh, of the United States and other countries. And then finally, I believe the third-party market continues continues to have a consolidation. And, and that drives further innovation and further um, efficiencies as well. So 
those four things, I don't want to call it the perfect storm because that, that denotes to some people that it's not good. I think, I think that's going to create incredible opportunity for everyone. I think it's very good because it, it, all of that forces um, more intense competition, more intense innovation, um, more, more creative ideas. And so I think those, and not to mention other trends like global meetings, um, you know, that's, uh, that's certainly an area the world, despite different issues going on with visas and all that, the world still is, is getting smaller because people are, are, you know, more accustomed to traveling and, and, and want, they, they yearn to deal with different cultures. So, Brand, I'm not sure if that, that answered your question. And more than. I mean, I, I was just thinking specifically technology trends, but, man, we went political and well, <laughs> geopolitical. <laughs> and, and covered, covered all the bases. Well, yeah. you know, it, because event planners have to pay attention to all those things. It's all connected. It really is. You know, so here's, here's my best example. Growing up, I used to, I, I still admire farmers. Because I'm like, how do they do this? They grow a crop in spite of incredible weather conditions, in spite of seeds that may or may not produce, in spite of all these things. And I look at event planners the same way. They are successful in spite of all these things. So they have to monitor all of them. They have to stay abreast of what's going on around them. Um, and then somehow put it all together and produce these amazing events. That, that satisfy a client's needs and, um, and goals. All right, so we have a question coming in from the audience, and that is asking how social media is going to play into the attendee journey, uh, specifically you know, in regards to eTouches. So how is social media going to play into the attendee journey with eTouches? That's a, that's a great question, really a great question, because there are a lot of different ways that – social media is already impacting events from the social media wall at an event where posts are being public, you know, published live and, and that influences and impacts the, the attendees real time right at the event. Um, social media also draws in uh, a greater audience and from a standpoint of uh, special interests are creating community communities both at the event and afterwards. So social media is really the linkage, if you will, that will help the common thread around common interests of groups at events, both before, during, and after events. So for instance, the most basic example is in eTouches platform, we make it very easy for planners to add uh, LinkedIn or Facebook links so they can for an event where it's not a closed invitation event say it's an open invitation where people can forward those links and say hey I'm going to this come join me which helps drive attendance um, and so it's there are also it's amazing how social media definitely impacts people's perceptions people's actions around events and to, to garner support as well and, and publicize the great things around events. I mean, I appreciate the fact you're, you're putting this out on Twitter and, and there are different elements. I think that's huge. We are? <laughs> <laughs> no one told me. <laughs> Someone didn't listen to the intro. <laughs> yeah. So, so it, it, um, it's definitely something that uh, is – that will constantly evolve, I believe. Awesome. Uh, we have another amazing question from the audience. This is a really, really good question from the audience. Uh, people love to hate their registration slash management software, and I see this all the time when I'm talking to people. Um, <laughs> what, like what, should people food. <laughs> what, what should people be looking for when they look for their event management software? Do you think there's like a couple boxes that they should be looking for when checking it off, whether they're looking at eTouches or any other platform? That's a, that's a good question, and my best answer is the right fit. Is the event software the right fit? And so 
that that's my that's my quick question if that person had to run like to the store or something my my more in-depth answer is is really uh, the right fit what denotes the right fit I would say is uh, the support the training the intuitive nature of the software and the the pricing no you know straightforward no hitting hidden costs etc and the reason I, I point to the first two as being critically important when I say support and training. Um, what I've learned, and both personally and in, in teams that I've worked with, is you could have the absolute best technology product. I don't care whether it's event technology or any other type. Unless the user develops a strong sense of confidence in how to apply and use the tool, it's not going to go anywhere. In fact, it'll be it'll be underutilized. So, what's the best way? We believe that the best way is to make every user a power user. And how do we support that? We support that with our with incredible award-winning support, 97% satisfaction with our tool because our support people have to have a couple years of event experience then become certified on the product, then they're able to talk to customers. So number one, number one, when they're talking to a customer, our people realize that look, it's not all about the tool, it's not all about the technology. The technology is the solution to get you from point A to point Z, and, and it's not about us. It's how the technology can help you do that. So then the training, a lot of a lot of people believe okay you go to technology training once and you should master it and that's it we don't believe that way we believe that you need to have access to training ongoing and that's why we provide every week training opportunities for our current users on top of our new users because the first time I use the solution I have a certain need and it's just to learn the basics, it's not to do anything wrong and mess up my program. But then I complete that program. The next time I'm, I'm back into eTouches, I want to take my knowledge to the next level. Now I need to go back to training to help me gain the confidence to do that. Then I want to go back again to refresh on something. So you, a good technology company helps you with those building blocks to become a power user. So that's that's where I say the right fit. The right fit comes down to support, training, the pricing component, and then the intuitive technology. And it's, it's encouraging to hear that that's part of your hiring policy because I, I got to be honest with you, and it's one of my favorite stories to tell. I was at a conference with – it was one of the big – registration providers, uh, event app provider actually, and I met their brand new head of marketing and their brand new head of sales, and they were very nice people, and I'm sure they were very good at marketing and very good at sales, but within 30 seconds, I realized they knew nothing about events. And so to hear that, you know, you know you've got a requirement to, to get people to come in, you know, from the event world uh, that, that know this world, it's, 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 it's encouraging to hear. We've got to start wrapping it up. We're starting to get to the, uh, the top of the hour here, and uh, uh, we want to thank everybody that's been in here. And if you do have any ex additional questions, please be sure to throw them into the questions box, and we'll try and sneak them here at the end. Um, but before we go, we always like to ask people if they have uh, kind of a tip for the event planners that are out there, the meeting planners that are out there. Uh, it doesn't have to be um, – well, we'll save that for the cool resources part. So specifically in regards to event planners, meeting planners, I started to jump ahead there to the, to the other question. Um, yeah. If you could pick one, what, it, what would be the one tip that you would have for event meeting planners out there? Wow, that's a that's a good one. I would I would say probably you know that old the shirts stay calm you know chive on or whatever. I mean I'd probably do. I'm I'm a shirt guy. I would probably do stay calm, plan on, but continue to change and evolve. Um, the the most successful planners that I that I have the pleasure of dealing with day in and day out always feel that they need to constantly increase their knowledge of the industry because it's constantly changing. And when I chat with, with uh, new employees or new team members, 
I always say, if you're joining this industry, hold on because you've got to invest time to stay abreast of the changes. You, you just joined one of the most rapid changing industries in the world. So this is not an industry if, if you like things the same today as yesterday. That's, and, and that's why I think I'm, I'm so excited to see the talent coming out of colleges in the event, um, in the, you know, on the, the agendas um, in scholastic programs, the curriculum is the word I was looking for, the curriculum that's coming out of colleges now and the talent that is really well qualified to come into the event industry. And then they have this thirst for knowledge and that's, that's what we need. I love it. I love it. Uh, and I, I think it's, uh, uh, I mean, I kind of like threw up the, the Sun Devil sign there halfway through jokingly, but I mean, I, I'm very attuned to what ASU is coming out. I mean, luckily I came out of their special events program, but even since then, the kids coming out, and I say kids, <laughs> I've dated uh, myself now. Um, <laughs> they're, 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 they're crushing it. They're like, they have taught, they have more hours of event experience than I had running an event company when I was in college. So uh, I oh, think it's yeah. fantastic. Whereas before, you know, we, we talked to, you know, a lot of people come on the show. How'd you get in the events industry? I had no idea I was ever going to get into this. And some of the, the I say kids, um, <laughs> uh, coming out are like, oh, I knew I wanted to do this. I have experience working in festivals, charity events, um, you know, corporate events, and, you know, I have a, over 400 CFE hours. What? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Um, so I, I definitely agree with you. Um, what, what, coming to the last question, my favorite question, uh, and luckily it ended that I get to ask the last the final question. What is your your favorite like cool tools, resources, anything that you want to share with the audience? It could be blogs, books, um, scuba masks, um, guitars, um, anything at all. What what would you say are your like your go to tools and your favorite things right now? I would say what comes to mind first are two of them. Fast Company as a magazine publication. I like it because of, it helps me think out of the box because I'm constantly reading about people who are thinking out of the box. Different approaches to, the, to when you don't think there's a different approach. The second one is ironic because it's not, it, it covers, and it, it's called the PCMA News Junkie by the PCMA and it's you know, it's pushed out to my, my email. I, I believe it's a complimentary subscription. I'm not sure. But it's chock full of actually helpful articles and tips that point me in different directions uh, for the latest gadgets all the way to latest trends. And because I, I, I'm a big trend guy. I love looking at what's coming around the corner, trying to anticipate that. Um, and I have to admit, they do a really good job. Hats off to them. Great job. Awesome. I love it. I love it. Um, when you say those top ten trending lists, you know, do you just Google search top event trends, or you know, what are you looking for when you're finding those lists? Um, yeah, I would say that is is I I definitely do that. That to me is kind of the starting point. That's the the basis. But then I think part of it is we have a we have some really good thought leaders. Um, in our industry and so there are many of them that I try and, and follow whether Twitter or, or other ways um, also you know if they're speaking um, I also appreciate the, the thought leaders that he touches I tell you they're that's they are some they're some real forward thinkers that that I work with and, you know and that's the amazing thing one thing I've learned over the years is just because you work with someone, oftentimes you take their knowledge for granted and you think everybody thinks this or they're not anything special. And what I've found is I always appreciate the people I work with. And I've found that I've worked with some of the most talented, brilliant people that at the time I was just having a cup of coffee next to them. And, uh, and I'd have to say he touches has a lot of, a lot of great thought leaders that are smart people that are looking to the future. 
I, I definitely got to agree with that. I'm a huge fan of the eTouches blog, not just because I have contributed to it, but just because it's an absolutely amazing well, blog uh, <laughs> full of great content. Uh, I actually love the design. I love everything about it. Your marketing team is absolutely fantastic. Um, I did want to give a self-plug um, into uh, Endless wrote a trends article, which I'm not sure, Brad, if you've seen yet, but um, if anyone's interested, I will post it in the show notes links if you just search, you know, top trends of 2017, top event trends for 2017 or 2017 event trends, it'll pop up number one on there, but um, definitely check that out if you're looking for any. I wasn't sure, Brant, if you had any favorite trends articles that you enjoyed too. I, I mean, I traditionally I tend to write the ones that are anti-trends. So I'm like, okay, these, these are the things. These are the things that are not going to impact your life at all in the next year. Those are my yeah. favorite kinds of articles. Yeah, I mean, you you do get to see, as as you know, like you say, you're googling a lot of them, so you get to see a lot of it's the same kind of stuff yeah, yeah, over and yeah. over again. So whenever I sit down to write it, I struggle with that. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do something different. Anti-trends. Awesome. Yeah, I love anti-trends. it. I love it. Very cool. Well, folks, we have to start wrapping it up here. Brett, I really want to thank you so much for joining us here. I think everybody needs to know out there that you were supposed to be joined by <laughs> someone else. So you carried the day. You This this was supposed yeah. to be an hour shared between two people, and you absolutely carried it. So we want to thank you so much for doing that. Um, where can people find out more about eTouches and, and contact you or anybody there? Uh, eTouches.com is our website. And feel free to email me at brad.langley at etouches.com. And I'd like to also just say thank you guys for the opportunity to have this conversation and also the audience. Um, really appreciate you guys taking the time. And clearly you're invested in, in expanding your knowledge and continuing to uh, be successful in the event industry. Yeah, and he's also Brad Langley uh, on Twitter. So reach out to him there yes. as well. And uh, when when you, when you hang up here, you're going to see the 4,700 uh, tags uh, that are going to be waiting for <laughs> you. Right. Our man, our man Alex was was uh, tweet storming away today. So he he was killing it today. Um, great. So thank you so much for for joining us again. Will, where can folks find out more about Endless? Uh, they can check us out at helloendless.com, and that's where the show notes will be available afterwards. Fantastic, and the uh, the shows get posted there as well on the blog, and and we hope everybody joins us. We are working on. Uh, I don't think this is much of a secret. Well, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll spill the beans a little. We're working on getting other methods of syndication. Let's put it that way. Ooh, yes, very. Ooh, yeah, yeah, so ooh, we, that's a tease right yeah, there. We, oh we, my we, Yeah, we love it when you can join us live uh, on the Go to Webinar, but we understand that that's not always working great for everybody. So we want to see what else we can do. And I'm Brant Kruger, and you can find me on Twitter at at Brant Kruger, B R A N D T K R U. E G E R, and you can find me there. I'm on basically I'm on all social media things. You can find out more at brantkruger.com. Uh, so that does it for us. Here we are at the end of another episode of Event Icons. Now, Will, when else do they do this show, or is that something we might hear in the closer? I think it might be in the closer. All right. Thanks, everybody. Catch you later. Thank you for joining us for another amazing episode of Hashtag Event Icons. To catch the transcription and all of the resources mentioned, head to www.helloendless.com slash blog. This week's episode will be posted and available by next Tuesday. Also, let us know what you thought about this week's episode. Share your biggest takeaway and join the Twitter conversation sponsored by Alex Plaxon and Little Bird Told Media. Just hit with hashtag event icons. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you again for joining us. We'll see you next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern right here on hashtag event icons.